Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I actually have a few haul videos to film right now. Um, so today we are going to film an Amazon haul. As you guys know, I've been preparing for my Halloween sale, so there's a few things that I picked up. And also, I want to do a little bit of Halloween crafting, so I made sure to pick up a few extra things for that as well. Um, but let's go ahead and get started because I have other haul videos to film. Of course, they'll come out at separate times, but you guys will will get to see them soon but let's go ahead and get started first things first I'm so excited to look at this one right here I actually ordered I don't know what's with me I've been like I guess so excited about filming that I haven't like um, been able to talk right actually ordered some faux leather sheets and I'm so excited they are a little bit smaller than what I anticipated I should have checked um, the size measurements but um, it's still a good size, especially for what I want to use them. Um, but these are the faux leather sheets, so let's just dive right into these because I was so excited to look at these. Um, I will list the seller down below um, where I got them from, but they are from Amazon. That way, in case you guys are interested, you can check them out. There's so many things you can do with faux leather sheets, and I absolutely love using them. It's one of the must-haves that I must always have stocked in my craft area. So I picked up some halloween theme ones, and I'm really excited. Look at how cute this orange one is. It has, like, this glittery look to it. It is a matte glitter, which is great because you have no fallout. Faux leather, you can do a lot of things. You can do um, die cutting. You can make fun little shapes with them. You can make little books, little covers, all kinds of cool things. But look at how awesome this is. And this is actually the first time. Oh, there we go. It's double. Okay, so look at how cool that. It's nice and thin, which tells me it's going to probably cut really nice. So I'm excited to give that a try. So we have an orange one. And then here is the black one. Look at all that shimmer. Again, it is a matte glitter, which is amazing. And then here we have this like splatter of paint one. And I just want to make sure that they're not like doubled. Here we have this one. It has the orange and the white tones. This one's pretty versatile. You could probably use it with just about anything depending on what you're making. And then this candy corn. Oh my goodness, you guys. This candy corn is what kind of won me over. I'm all about the candy corn this year. Super, super cute. Absolutely love that. And then here we have this one. It just has like little white splashes on it. Really cute. It's black and white. And then here we have another black and white. This one has white circles, black background, really pretty. And then here we have this one with the little haunted houses. It is on a, uh, what is it, vertical, horizontal? It is on a vertical angle, so which is really cool. Um, and I really like these little haunted houses. Look at how cute that is. I love it. And then here we have a jack-o'-lantern one with just the little face of the pumpkin. Just really cool. It has a black background, orange pumpkin face. And then here we have this one. It says boo. It has the bat, the pumpkin, the little ghost, and then the bats. And even the little knives. Look at how cute that is. Here we have some spider ones. Spooky spiders. Oh my goodness, so cute. Willie would flip because he is totally scared of spiders. <laughs> Here we have this boo one. You guys, obsessed. This one and the candy corn, so far my favorite. Absolutely love it. Love the black and the orange wording. Really cute. And then here we have the little ghost. Uh, we have an orange background with the white and black ghost and then the little black polka dots, which is really cute. And then, of course, I love me a good pattern. This one's absolutely gorgeous. Perfect Halloween themed colors. And then here we have the same as that black and white one, but with orange and white. Orange background, white polka dots, really cute. And then the skeleton one with the little orange hearts in the back background. How cute is that? I love these. Oh my gosh, these are amazing prints. Absolutely love it. So I got those. And then I also picked up these pens. Um, Amazon is good to get like some bulk pens. And this time I decided to just do one unified color, which is really awesome. Look at how cute these are. They feel really nice, pretty fancy. 
um, so I'm hoping they write really nice as well. Look at how cute these are. They have their orange and silver, and they are a push pen. So look at how cute. It says they were a ballpoint pen. Yeah, it's a ballpoint pen, but look at how cute these are. I love it. So these are going to go in my TNs. Again, you guys are getting it. Usually I don't give sneak peeks because I like everything to be surprises, but I will do a few surprises in there so that, you know, it's still a mystery to you guys, but there she. These are so cute. I love it. And you get a set of eight. All right, and then next thing I got were some eyelets, and then when I saw this, I think I paid like twelve dollars. I don't know, it might have been like eight, almost nine dollars. When I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so little, but. I get 200 pieces, which is awesome, and they are 3 millimeters. These are eyelets for the um, crocodile, and I use these a lot in my TN, so I needed to restock. And I actually like using the smaller ones because the elastic that I use is pretty thin, so therefore I don't have to worry about filling up a whole bunch of space. And I can fit more eyelets into, you know, one little binding. So this is really cool. I got the silver ones because silver pretty much goes with just about anything. Very versatile, unified color. So I got those. And then I also got some sticky notes. Um, this time I decided to do a solid color sticky note. So um, I have the purple ones. I got four packs. And they are 3x3 three three in the color purple. So these are the ones that I picked up. I like to add sticky notes to my TNs. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, you know, deck up my little page markers and then add some little sticky notes. So these are perfect, you know, to just get a whole bunch in different colors, keep them in stock, and then just kind of throw them into a little project. Um, it's a really great way to, you know, not only save some money, but get the most for your money as well. So, really cool. I don't know how she put these in there because now they're not fitting. Oh, there we go. So, again, I got the purple color because um, it's always good to do a little pop of color. So, purple is a good color. So, I got those. And then, lastly, I got a 12 by 12 paper collection. These are 16 single-sided sheets of paper. Um, it says Trick or Treat Paper Collection by Miss Kate Cuttables. Um, so, really cool. I think this is the first time that I order from this brand. So, I'm excited to see. It's a little disappointing that they are not double-sided, but... I feel like I get more um, designs for, you know, for the amount of paper that I'm getting. So as you can see, these are all of the designs, which is really cool. Um, because like in, uh, like with the Echo Park collections, you get double-sided, but you do sometimes get like the same print just on opposite sides. So it just depends. So I feel like you get a lot of different designs. And it's a single-sided paper, which kind of gives you a lot to work with. So, really cool. The paper feels nice. Um, I will say the print does look a little on the blurry side, but it's still really cute. Um, I'm pretty sure once you laminate it, it'll look nice and finished. So, really cute. I love this one with the little girl dressed as a witch. Super cute. I love it. Again, it's a 12 by 12 and it is a single sided paper. That is so cute. And then, of course, we have the black and white one, um, which is just black and white gingham. Really pretty. And then the go. See, now this one looks a little like laminated. It looks shinier. It feels a little different too. It feels glossy. So there is a difference in the paper. But this one's so cute. It has all the little ghosts with the little rosy cheeks. Super, super adorable. I love it. And then here we have this one, a nice pop of color with the lime green and the white polka dots. And then here we have this one, the little boy dressed as a vampire with the little bats. Super cute. I love that as well. And then here we have the orange plaid gingham, which is really pretty. And then here we have this one. This one looks almost like a coloring um, cartoon, um, but it's really cute. I love it. The little bats, they're super cute, almost kawaii-ish, really pretty. And then here we have this one, the orange with the white polka dots. 
again kind of matches my little faux leather sheets that I have and then we have the purple and the white gingham really cute and then we have the boy dressed as a Frank Frankenstein look at how cute that is I love that so pretty and then here we have the what do you call I think you call this chevron um it's black and white really cute again there's a lot you can do with that and then the mummy oh my god the mummy is so adorable it's the little boy dressed as a mummy really cute and then we have the chevron again with the lime green and the white and then we have them all together they're in a little halloween party so we have the mummy the frankenstein the witch the vampire the only one we haven't seen is this guy but maybe we'll see him in another one but look at how cute this is they all came together in one page i love that and then we have the purple with the white polka dots super cute and then of course the pumpkins really really pretty i love them so not bad um the price was actually pretty good um when i got it it was on sale yeah this is the only one i didn't get and he looks like a ghost oh yeah he's dressed as a ghost how cute um the price was actually not bad so again you can do so much with a 12 by 12 size um and with the fact that they are single sided you can do so much more so i love that there's so many prints you know, um, so much, so much you could do with it, but obsessed. I love it, and that's pretty much it, you guys. That's my small Amazon haul. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will leave everything linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!